Good morning, good morning, good morning. All the buying them, good morning. Ham and cheese, good morning. Cheese grits, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Alden Bynum. Good morning and welcome to Sports Stories with Alden Bynum. And today we're going to talk about O.J. Mayo versus Jeffrey Jordan at AAU Boys Basketball 14 and under at the Milk House in Orlando. And how that dude went with them teams and them two. Now, of course, you'll know O.J. Mayo, he played years in the NBA. And this was uh, when he was in that top group in the nation. Everybody, you know, his name was buzzing, et cetera, et cetera, and stuff like that. Excuse me. And so, name buzzing. We had certain guys coming to, because uh, I was an intern at the time. I was the, like the the intern, like it was just me and the guy that that was over me. So we had, uh, and then later on after the seventeen in under the Super Showcase, we had some big names that guys that played in the NBA and stuff like that. But OJ was the guy at this time, right? Fourteen and under, uh, I forget what grade or something like that, but fourteen and under, and so. OJ and his team was all, it was like an all-star team. Matter of fact, Bill Walker that played at Kansas with the University with Kansas State at K-State, the Kansas uh Wildcats, Kansas State Wildcats, he was on that team with OJ Mayo. And they had the one kid, a tall kid, I called him uh Penny Hardaway. He was the center. And all of them can dunk. And they coach. I called him the Pit Bull. Or the little mini people, because all they did was talk like this. That's how, he, that's how he, to me, that's how he talked. But it was first round, Milk House. Uh, matter of fact, I forgot the name of Jeffrey Jordan's team, but I do know that OJ Mayo's team was known as the D1 Greyhounds. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. The D1 Greyhounds. I just remembered that. So it they, they was first round. And, and so what happened was, because the, the kids know, all the kids know, all the kids know. So the circuit was Jeffrey Jordan, Jeffrey Jordan, Michael Jordan, son, going to be on this team. He's going to be playing against OJ. So the funny thing is people trying to find out who is Michael Jordan's son on this team, right? Uh and it was there. I think it was from the Deerfield area or something. I forget like what area, but something like that. But I know Matt Suey, who played at Penn State, because I just saw uh, <laughs> Penn State in Alabama on the Sugar Bowl uh, Classic Channel. A replay game. I was like, dang, he went to uh, what you call it? But remember, he played for the Chicago Bears, right? I remember Matt Suey son playing, and these were just kids, you know. Uh, From you know in in their area that was growing up you know and played basketball woo do woo do woo, they wasn't you know but anyway. Uh, so everybody looking to find see if Jeffrey Jordan, but they had this one kid who everybody thought was Michael Jordan's son, right? And I gotta remember this. He had a bald head. He was the same complexion of Michael Jordan, right? And the funny thing is, he was wearing red Adidas. So everybody's like, oh, Michael tried to throw us off. That's his son right there. Blase, blase. So basically the game stopped and stuff like that. So uh, now mind you, like O.J. Mayo and them, O.J. Mayo was walking in like a straight up O.G. I think he got had like a half an afro or something, I think. Something like that. He, he was like an OG. Kind of cut him like that. You know. Woo, woo. And so. Uh, they balling. They balling. They hoop. Whatever. Whatever. So. OJ has a good mid-range game. And so Bill Walker. He doing it. I remember he, he was doing this thing. Uh, 
and in the in the center, Penny Hardaway looking kid was doing their thing. But OJ Mayo was the leading scorer of the game. He ended up with uh eventually having 32 points. But people figured eventually figured out who Michael Jordan's son was, who Jeffrey was. Uh because what happened was they went one on one at a certain really really just about the whole game. They went one on one. Just about I'ma say, I'ma give it, I'ma give it 90% of the game. I'm gonna give it 85 to 90% of the game. They went like, you know, he was checking when he, he had to and stuff like that. Y'all know it might be rotating defenses, whatever, you might play a two, three, et cetera, et cetera. But I think Jeffrey wanted the challenge of checking O.J. Mayo. And I think O.J. Mayo, as because he eventually found out too, because they didn't know now. They didn't know. They didn't know who Michael Jordan's son was. Right? They did not know. And they, they should have attest to it this day. Bill Walker and O.J. Mayo, they thought it was the kid with the Adidas on, with the red Adidas. They were just bright, red, shiny Adidas. Right? So, we found out this was what happened. It was during the game, right? <laughs> O.J. Mayo was checking Jeffrey Jordan. And the funny thing is, people was looking for, because the kid with the red sneakers, he was right-handed. But Jeffrey Jordan was left-handed. So, what happened was, OJ was kind of getting Jeffrey a little bit, you know, getting him a little bit. So Jeffrey is like at the uh, top of the key at the three-point line. And so he got it. He dribbling. And he did this move, this spin move. It was a, it was, it was a shake, it was a shake spin move. And it was a like a mid-range jumper. That he shot and shook OJ. And everybody was like, ooh. And then, and I, I want to say it was maybe him and two or three other kids that had Jordan on, Jordan's on. Right? But Jeffrey had the latest Jordan that was coming out soon and stuff like that, right? So the crowd figured it out right then and there. He put this move on OJ, whoop, a little spin move. Wow, bam, everybody was like, ooh, right? And so that's when, because it was so sweet. It was so sweet, right? And that's when everybody knew. And, and the kids had figured out that that was Michael Jordan's son. And so uh, it was a good game, I think. Uh, it, was, it was competitive. It was competitive. But OJ and them uh, beat them. Because they went end up winning the 14 and under uh national championship. And I I gave I gave uh OJ Mayo his championship medal. And guess who they played in the championship game? Kevin Love and his team. I think they were from from Oregon. I think Kevin Love was originally from Oregon because we thought he was going to the Oregon Ducks, right? We was like, oh, yeah. Oh. Matter of fact, he played center at the time. And he had one hell of, hell of a game. Plus, he, he had a little outside shot, too, at the time, too. But he played center. And I gave him uh, their uh, run-up medal and uh, stuff like that. But at the end of the game with O.J. and Jeffrey Jordan, O.J. Mayo had 32 points. And uh, Jeffrey Jordan had 18 points. But them two points that Jeffrey Jordan put there when we made go, ooh, you know, that was pretty cool. So he didn't have a bad game. He got a pretty good game against OJ. You know, OJ Mayo, like I said, he was one of the uh, top kids in the country and playing basketball at the time. And, uh, yeah, it was pretty dope. So that's my sports story. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment. This is all the minor. Hey.